Hi everyone, it's me Chris, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm here with Rod Ferguson from The Coalition. Hi Rod. Hey, how are you? I'm great, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to start with one question that I've been willing to ask you for like four years. Okay. <laughs> What's the deal with those fruity exotic drinks you like so much? Uh, you mean the mantinis? Yes, the, I, I like drinks that taste good, that's all. Okay. But they also look good. They also look good, see that's why I take the pictures, but they, I just like delicious drinks that happen to be fruity drinks. Okay. Because <laughs> I mean, it's, I, people see you playing Gears and they have like this, this butch vision of you. Right. And, and, and these drinks, don't get me wrong, but they look kind of girly, so, so it's kind of contrast. I'm a, I'm a man of many dimensions, because I'm a man of many dimensions. Great, great. <laughs> this was the most important question, I, so the rest is just sure. protocol. I mean, that was the reason why I called them mantinis, was because like I, when Cosmos, you know, Cosmopolitans were a big thing during Sex in the City and all that stuff, <laughs> I was drinking Cosmopolitans, and then people would give me a bunch of crap for drinking girl drinks. So that's why I rebranded the martinis into mantinis, to try to retake them back. So now now I drink mantinis. You also watch Sex in the City? We don't need to go that far. We don't need to talk about that stuff. Yeah, I did it too, <laughs> so don't worry. No shame in that. So, do you prefer the good whiskey or those fruity drinks? Oh, uh, I probably prefer the fruity drinks. If I could only drink one drink, like it would be a fruity drink. But I like, again, it's the contrast. I like really good scotch and I like things in a blender I just you know it's the way I am cool going to stuff that people don't care uh, you've been part of very a uh, lot of games with very uh, intriguing endings surprising endings like the whole Gears franchise and Bioshock Infinity and you knew the ending before the game was launched right. H how do you deal with knowing that and not being able to tell uh, I'm fine with it you tend to know a lot about games you know whether it's the features the story how it ends all that stuff you have, you just you get used to it. You know, you don't. I don't have this like I got to tell somebody. I don't have that kind of problem. I just it's part of making the game. You're a much better man than I am. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we'll go with it. Okay, uh, about the campaign, the yeah. rod in Brazil that actually got you here. Yeah, it got me here. Yeah. Uh, do you think we're like crazy stalkers or just dedicated fans, or a little bit of both? Yeah, I think most. Of, I think everybody else is a dedicated fan. I think you're a crazy stalker, but. Just you know, so I think there's a line there between you and everybody else, but it's great. I'm hey, and I'm here. It works. So no matter what I say, at the end of the day, it worked. And there's no restraining order, so. And I haven't filed a restraining order yet, but we're not we're not through the visit yet. Yes. Yeah, I know. I still got four days. You got, a, you, got, you got a couple days left. Yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> uh, is there a favorite part that you had in the whole campaign? The oh, favorite part? I, you know what I mean. To me, it's just the outreach of it all. Like I'm. Your crazy Photoshop stuff and your vacation <laughs> pictures and all that stuff is cool. But just the fact that there's like this sort of fan uh, demand for something and just that's because that's what I love about Gears of War is it's like Brazilian fans in particular, but Gears fans around the world are very passionate. There's a very tight knit community of, of that and, and just having them reach out and, and, and tell me that the game means something more to them than it just being a piece of entertainment. That just means a lot. And so that's why I was happy to come and, and, and meet everybody face to face. Cool. And when did you actually know we were coming down here? Uh, when did I actually know? I knew before I told you. So I think I knew. I think I knew around E3. But then we had to wait to, to okay. get a bunch of stuff sorted out. Or at least I knew I wanted to come. And then it was like, oh, can you get the visa? And what's the schedule? And all this other stuff. So yeah, I was trying to find the right place. So. Um, but yeah, I knew a little bit before I, I, I confirmed it. And you're good at keeping secrets, so there wasn't a problem. Exactly. Okay. I don't know if I'm good at keeping secrets. I, pretend, I try to be good. Okay. Uh, will we see any big announcements from Gears in the Brazil Game Show? Uh, not, not really planning any big announcements. So if I mess up and I say something wrong, then I'll, uh, that might be a big announcement. <laughs> But my, you know, we're sort of staying on message from what we talked about at E3 and, I, and, and talking around that. But uh, you know, with the game coming in 2019, we're kind of trying to save up a bunch of the news. We don't want to like just talk about it and then have another wait for a long time before it becomes meaningful. So I want to get to a point where when people hear something new, they can actually go maybe go and pre-order or go do something, have an action to, behind it. So we're trying to like kind of stay as quiet as we can, but still get a chance to go ahead and meet fans and talk to them. So you can't tell me anything right now? Not even an estimated release date or something like that? Not even an estimated. 2019. There okay. you go. There's my estimate. All the three games. All the three games. 
I don't know if I can confirm that, but I can confirm Gears 5 is the 2019. Okay. Why did you guys decide to go into a mobile game? Because, I mean, th this was something really big at E3. We saw, like, three big companies showing mobile games at their stages, and, and this is kind of new. Right. So, what did you guys make the decision to go into mobile? Uh, it's a, a bunch of different reasons. Part of it is just it's an, uh, an audience that Gears hasn't really reached out to before. And so one of the things we really want to do is, like, how do we broaden the Gears audience? So whether that go to mobile, go to PC, like, and stay on console. So that was a big part of it. But also, if you look at the industry, mobile is one of the fastest growing parts of the industry. Uh, and even if you look at, like, the xCloud announcement we just did recently, I mean, that's an opportunity to go and reach 2 billion gamers out there over mobile devices. Because a lot of people only have mobile devices as their gaming uh, platform. So for us, it was about, like, how can I bring the Gears of War experience to new players? And that's why we did mobile. Cool. Uh, will there be any Battle Royale in Gears? Or you can't confirm that yet? There's, in, uh, there's no Battle Royale in Gears of War 5. There you go. There's there's big, my big news. See, look, I made him write something down. He has to write that down now. Ross said something. He wasn't supposed to say anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are a lot of pages here because I saw one of your interviews to Game Informer. 105 rapid fire questions about Gears 4. Right. I, I, it was so much fun watching that. <laughs> Okay. Was it just one take or no, several? It was not one take. Okay. I have 106 questions here. Are you trying to do it in one take? And we're going to take it in one take. Okay. Are you up for that? I don't know that I am, but let's try it. Okay. Uh, I'll try to go fast. Uh, I, these are not only about gears. These are also about you. Okay. And stuff in general. Okay. So don't, don't spoil. Okay. And we'll try to do it very fast. Okay. As fast as the game informer. Okay. So uh, your first video game console. My first video game console was probably uh, SNES, the su Super Nintendo. Uh, Marvel or DC? Ah, uh, no, both. <laughs> both. Uh, favorite superhero, not Captain America. You, you can't pick my favorite superhero and say that's the one I can't say when you ask my favorite superhero. Okay, second favorite superhero. Second favorite superhero. Uh, I don't, I'm, a, I'm a fan of like the characters that are more normal than not. Like, so i I'm always been a fan. Like when I was a kid, is like Green Arrow. Um, Deathstroke, Black Panther, like I like people that are just more people that they don't have lasers coming out of their eyes and they don't have like, like Superman. Like Superman, so okay. they tend to be a little bit more grounded, even though you know they're not 100. percent Like Batman, obviously, is as grounded as you can get, and I like Batman, but he's not my favorite. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, Captain America number one, and then you get into some interesting. You, know, you have a number two. You have a favorite villain. Favorite villain. Uh, favorite villain? Wow, that's a good question. I haven't thought about the villain side of it. Uh, I think Lex... You, you can skip if you want. Yeah, okay, well, but I think Lex Luthor's kind of interesting, uh, but let's skip. Okay, because you know you're getting points on these questions. Oh, okay, I mean, good, it's, good. it's your personal opinion, but you're still rated, okay. and there are right and wrong answers okay, here. Leaderboard. Okay, okay so uh, Tim Hortons or Starbucks? Tim Hortons or Starbucks? Well, Tim Hortons, they have donuts. <laughs> Great. They have uh, maple glaze. To be clear, they have maple glaze donuts. Yes, it, it's amazing. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the reasons to go to Canada. Right, exactly. Uh, you have a favorite exotic drink? Favorite exotic drink? The mantinis. Oh, my favorite mantini? Uh, anything in a blender is good. Like, uh, you know, like your classic margarita. Like all the ones that are super fancy, I don't remember the names of because they're, so, they're too fancy. But yeah, I think the cla pina coladas. Yeah, pina coladas. You have a favorite whiskey? Yes, uh, Dalmore, King Alexander the Third. Great. No, neat or under rocks? Oh, neat, always neat. Never, don't never put ice in a scotch. That's that's never do that. Do you like tomatoes? Yes. As much as Marcus? Probably not. No one likes tomatoes as much as Marcus. Do you see any resemblance between you and Marcus? No. <laughs> they were both old. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is there a reason why Coltrane's trash ball jersey number is eighty-three? No, not that I'm aware of, actually. I don't know why it's 83. Uh, which sport do you like to watch on TV and stuff like that? Oh, uh, hockey is probably. Like, I have, I have season tickets to the Canucks. Okay. Uh, do you like a sport on video game? Oh, video game sport? Uh, it's still the same thing in NHL 19 I'm playing right now. And real life? Uh, you don't get a body like this by playing sports in real life. So, no, I don't play sports in real life. Okay. Oh, golf. I play, play golf in real life. Uh, favorite hockey team? Vancouver Canucks. Uh, 1994 Stanley Cup champions. Oh, God, I have no idea. Who's that? 
the New York Rangers and they beat the Canucks. Was that a cheap shot? No, as I see, I I became a Canucks fan in 2014, so I wouldn't know. That's a you're going 20 years back from when I became a fan. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. Awesome. The great one. Exact. Right answer. Uh, mouse or mouse and keyboard or controllers? When you're playing games. Oh, controller. Uh, cats or dogs? Dogs. I or window seat? Window. Uh, favorite pizza topping? I'll be controversial. Pineapple. Android iPhone or Windows Phone? Uh, iPhone. Is, what I'm using. <laughs> is Windows Phone even a question? Well, like, clearly it is. You just asked it. Uh, uh, do you have a beard because it's cool or because you're just too lazy to shave? Because I'm fat and I have to cover my second chin. Okay. When was the last time you actually shaved fully your beard? Uh, 24 years ago. Wow. Do you plan to get another tattoo? Uh, probably. Do I want to know the details? It's the. It's actually looking at the Ferguson clan uh, motto and the thistle and the coat of arms for Scotland. Cool. Uh, do you have an embarrassing nickname? Depends what you mean by embarrassing. I don't, can you tell me? <laughs> if it's embarrassing, no. You're like the last person I would tell an embarrassing nickname to. Uh, how do frag grenades stick to everything? You got the little bumps on the outside. Uh, are ink grenades made out of Kansas fart? No. Because oh. it does look like. Uh, do you have any regrets in the Gears franchise? Do I have any regrets in the Gears franchise? Uh, that we took a break between three and four. We should uh, I, I, I wish we didn't have to put it on the shelf and take it back down again. T. Earl Grey? Cream of Earl Grey actually is really good on David's teas. But the tea I drink the most is, um, is peppermint tea. But complete the phrase. T. O. Gray. Hot. Great. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Both. Kirk or Picard? Uh, kind of more Picard, honestly. So you're more the reboots, the original or reboot Star Trek? I love both. I'm old enough to love both, but I uh, got pretty heavy in the next generation. So. Leonard Nimoy or Zachary Quinto? Uh, Leonard Nimoy. Uh, Richard Maltoban or Benedict Cumberbatch as Khan? Uh, I think the original, and Ricardo Montalban. Okay. Oh, anyway, yeah. Although Cumberbatch is pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, back to Star Wars. R two D two or BB eight? R two D two. Rebel or Empire? Rebel. Sith or Jedi? Jedi. Uh, any favorite Star Wars character? Uh, Boba Fett. Uh, Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones? Both. Why is that a choice? Are, there, are those fandoms against each other? I don't think they are. No, it's just questions. I, no. I need 106. High fantasy or high fantasy. Yes, I like both of them. Alien or Predator? Oh. Uh, uh, Alien and the original Predator. Uh, Freddy or Jason? Uh, neither. Uh, is the Gears movie really happening? I'm working on it. Is Princess Bride really your favorite movie? Of all time. You know you're on record, right? It's my favorite movie of all time. Like, number two is The Fifth Element. Cool. Uh, did you watch Ready Player One? I did. Did you see all the gear cameos in there? You know, on first viewing, you can't see them all. There's, I saw, like, two, maybe three, and there's, like, six in there. So I only saw, like, the first, like, the Lancer and the Torque I think, were the first two. I saw. Oh, and the boom shot, I think, was that, yeah. Will you ever appear as a cameo in Gears of War? I don't think so. Uh, will Gears ever have a character named Chris? I have a monster named Chris now. After this, <laughs> can I say it was named? It was after me. If I do it, will you say it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. When I go like the stalker in Brazil, I named the monster after. Yes, I'll do that. Cool. Uh, in which Gears of War were you in better shape? Oh, three. When we shipped Gears of War three, I was 180 pounds and wore a 33 inch jean. So I was, I was awesome at the end of Gears three. Does poutine really count as food? Poutine is, is, is the ultimate food. It's beyond food. It's the gold standard of food. Okay, so second favorite food? Second favorite after poutine. Can you have a second favorite after poutine? Uh, pineapple pizza. I'll keep it controversial. Uh, do you miss tickers? Uh, as much as any man can. Yeah, I, I, miss, the I miss the original locust. Do you, would you have one as a pet? No. They don't eat much. Well, I know, but they're pretty volatile. Uh, could Marcus Phoenix take on Chuck Norris? Uh, if he had his chainsaw. 
no one could check Chuck Norris. No. That was a trick question. <laughs> uh, favorite Pokemon? Favorite Pokemon Snorlax. Uh, favorite band or singer? Favorite band or singer? Uh, it changes. I'm pretty in, I'm I'm pretty pop forty, so I, I listen to it like everybody. So I don't I don't know that I have a super favorite. Have you ever shot a gun in real life? Yes. On a person? No. <laughs> uh, is uh, in Gears Three? Did you want to kill or save Carmine? Oh, kill. Me too. <laughs> Uh, if you could be in Gears of War, which character would you be? Dizzy. Uh, is he your favorite character? In, in Horde. Uh, Lancer or Retro Lancer? Lancer. Uh, favorite Horde modes? 1.0, 2.0, 3.0? Uh, I like them all for different reasons. Do you have a favorite weapon in Gears? Um... Yeah, I mean, again, there's a bunch that I, I really like the drop shot. I really like the digger. Uh, so there's a bunch of them that I like. Uh, will we ever see Anya's mom, Elena, in a game or maybe in the movie? Never say never. Uh, how about Ty when he sort of inspired the creation of the Chainsaw Lancer? Ty, yeah, never say never. Cool. Uh, we have seen zombies in Gears of War. Will we ever see vampires? Never say never. Werewolves? Okay, probably not. Uh, Jason? No, no. No. You don't like terror movies, do you? Not that much. Uh, is there whiskey in Sarah? The, I think uh, it was called Juicy Hooch by Dizzy, so sure. Do they have poutine in Sarah? They do not have poutine. So you couldn't live there? I could not live in Sarah. Do they have Wi-Fi there? I'm sure they do. Can you give me the password? <laughs> uh, do you like to celebrate your birthday? Do I like to celebrate my birthday? Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't. Yeah, of course I like to celebrate my birthday. Is 50s the new 20s? That uh, is for me. Uh, have you ever had a crush in a video game character? Have I ever had a crush on a video game character? Uh, crush on a video game character? Yeah, I had a crush on Lara Croft, sure. Cool. Uh, how awesome will the new Gears games be? So awesome. Will I like it? I think you will. Uh, who's your favorite Gears fan in Brazil? Well, it's not you, so... Oh, you just lost all your points there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the question was favorite, so uh, that's, that's hard. Who's your craziest fan in Brazil? Clearly you. Okay, so I have no further questions. <laughs> thank you very much. I, it was almost 106. <laughs> okay. we, we have to count after that because I skipped a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, Rod, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I hope you liked it so much also. And do you have any final words? Yeah, I just want to say thank you for starting the whole, you know, Rod in Brazil thing. Like, again, if it wasn't for you and the fans, I wouldn't be here. And so I, I'm super excited to be here and be part of FanFest tonight and, and to get to see Brazil. And so I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy Brazil. And to everyone out there to say never meet your heroes, I say just find better heroes. Because Rod is really cool. Ha <laughs> ha.